Mathematics crossing your eyes? Maybe Pocket Ronnie can help you. Okay, now we are doing radicals in the denominator of a fraction. If you look at 4C9, one of the rules of math is that you can never have a radical in the denominator. Okay, so if you have a radical in the denominator, you have to get rid of it. This is how you get rid of it. You multiply the radical by itself. So whatever that is, you just multiply that denominator by itself. Well, in the world of algebra, whatever you do to the denominator, you have to do to the numerator because you're essentially multiplying by one. Square root of three divided by square root of three is just one. So you're not changing the value of the fraction, you're just changing the numbers. It's like the same thing of having two quarters is 50 cents versus five dimes is 50 cents. The value is the same, the numbers just are different. So to get rid of the radical, you just multiply, you multiply the radical by itself. So now in the numerator, when you multiply fractions straight across, numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator. Five times square root of three, you just write it five times square root of three. Square root of three times square root of three, the rules of multiplication of multiplying radicals, square root of nine. But you can simplify square root of nine. It now becomes a perfect square. Turns out when you multiply a radical to itself, it's like the radicals cancel and you end up with the number under the radical. Because the numerator is still five square root of three and the square root of nine is just three. See how when you multiply the radical times itself, you end up with the number under the radical. And this proves why. Always look to see if this fraction right here, five thirds can reduce. I can't reduce five thirds, so I leave it just like that. Now look at 49, seven over square root of two. How do you get rid of the radical in the denominator? You multiply the radical by itself. Square root of two times square root of two, whatever I do to the denominator, I have to do to the numerator. So multiplying fractions, that would be seven times square root of two. Square root of two times square root of two is square root of four. And then the square root of four is just two. Look to see if seven has reduces. It doesn't, so I can leave it like that. And I've gotten rid of the radical on the denominator. Look at 4b10. How do I get rid of the square root of two? I multiply it by itself, or to itself. So whatever I do to the denominator, I have to do the numerator. Now we're doing rules of radicals, of multiplying radicals. Remember, there's like a one in front of here. Numbers to numbers, radicals to radicals. Three times one is just three. Square root of seven times square root of two, square root of 14. All over square root of two times square root of two is square root of four, but you can simplify square root of four. So that'd be three square root of 14 all over two. Three halves does not reduce. Square root of 14 cannot be simplified anymore. Always look, can your radical simplify or can you reduce your numbers? I cannot simplify square root of 14. None of the factors of 14 are a perfect square and I cannot reduce three halves, so you leave it just like that. 